Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use ChatGPT to automatically respond to your website's contact form submissions in a split second. This will give your business more credibility and allow you to respond to user in a more timely fashion. So we're going to be using the new re newly released ChatGPT API by OpenAI. So this is basically the same model that is used in the in chat gpt which is over here and we're going to be using this to respond to website contact form submissions and we're going to be using triggered emails so wix's own triggered emails to send that response for the contact form submission so basically we're using triggered emails so we're going to be using wix crm backends email contact along with the chat gpt's uh, chat completion endpoint to send the response back to the user now i already have a website over here and i have a wix contact form okay so this is basic wix contact form there's no code over here you can just uh, go on add or apps and add uh, the Wix contact form. And once you've done that, go on your public and backend files and under events.js file, if you don't have an events.js file, click on the plus sign and click on new JS file and name it events or just click on handle backend events. Create this file and basically we are creating an uh, event handler for whenever a form is submitted by on the Wix CRM which means via uh, Wix forms so we just uh, make this function and uh, we search for the message field so what the user has submitted so there will be a few if you it will depend the variables over here will depend if you are customizing your form uh, the f uh, the field name will be a little different but if you are using a drag and drop wix form a v a, and especially a basic contact form i believe the field names will remain the same so you won't have to change it but if you make a custom field or if you make a custom wix form and add your own elements then you should uh, change this message field over here to whatever text input field name you have put wherever you are collecting the information from the user and then same goes for the first name field and we create this object which we send to open ai so we make a basic fetch call this is a very basic fetch call made to open ai to its version 1 chat completions endpoint and instead of using the DaVinci 003 model we are using the Ch GPT 3.5 turbo model so there is a little bit of change in the syntax uh, the payload is a bit different instead of prompt we have messages over here and uh, role is user because the user is initiating this uh, conversation tokens is basically the amount of tokens that is allowed you can have uh, more depth into the api by going on this uh, documentation page and reading what each variable means okay so under our events file we tell chat gpt hey can you draft a reply to a contact form submission on our website we are a web development firm and the form submitter may be a potential customer who came on our website please do not sign the email because we are doing it on the triggered email and do not start your reply with a greeting like hi hello etc because even that we are doing it on our triggered emails details of the form submission are below so the name and the message and you need to set up a triggered email so this is how i've set up the triggered email uh, i created a banner and i inserted two variables first variable is the username second is the body which is basically the reply from chat gpt and then uh, i have the signature best regards sean which is my name from dude lemon and also i've inserted a cool graphic and also i've inserted a button so that if the user wants to schedule a zoom consultation call with me they can click on this button and uh, schedule a call with me and 
this could be another step in the user acquisition journey uh, which you can use into your in your business and you can also fill up this email for example if you're a web development firm you can put view our projects follow us on social give them your mobile number and if you are uh, some other type of form you can modify this triggered email accordingly you click on save and publish save and then you get this code so most important thing is the email id over here so we take this email id we go back so basically we make the call to the ai call ai which is in the open ai uh, file and we wait for the response once the response is returned we run this line line 18 first of all we replace so chat gpt has a uh, has a uh, way of sending uh, sort of an html markup so it will insert uh, these things which are not nice to have so we just filter out for these things uh, sorry these uh, uh, characters and we replace it with nothing because we don't need it in our text-based email and then we import the triggered emails from Wix CRM backend and we call the email contact function and over here we enter the email ID which we got when we created the triggered email in our Wix site dashboard and then we insert the contact ID which is automatically created when the form is submitted and under the variables we put the name of the user so we filter the array and then we use field value to get the name of the user which was entered by the user and for the body we use AI reply okay so let's go ahead and try this I'm going to put my name as Johnny, email as hello at dudelemon.com. Hey, can you develop a custom checkout system on my online store? I need to have multiple currencies supported at checkout and then we click on submit once it has submitted it's automatically going to go into your uh, communications uh, I mean the Wix uh, chat inbox uh, which is standard for any sort of uh, new web website form submitted uh, on the website and uh, there you have it we received the automated reply via the Wix triggered emails which contains chat GPT's response so you can see I've set up the email to read dude lemon LLC where the, it comes from re website contact form submission and a preview string of we reply to your query so you can see it was less than a minute from when the user submitted the form to the user receiving the form and here we have it hey Johnny which was the name we filled out over here now read the read the message can you develop a custom checkout system on my online store I need to have multiple currencies supported at checkout look at the reply thank you for reaching out to us we appreciate your interest in our web development services we would be happy to help you develop a custom checkout system for your online store that supports multiple currencies our team of experienced developers can work with you to create a solution that meets your specific needs please let us know if you have any further questions or if you'd like to discuss your project in more details we look forward to the opportunity to work with you which is a pretty standard reply you can make this reply more personal by editing the text that you send to chat GPT but I believe this is a very good reply and of course that it was sent immediately uh, it would impress your potential customers I'm going to install it in my own website as well just kidding uh, I am not going to use AI uh, all my customers receive very uh, personal replies from me so it's going to take a while but uh, this is very busy uh, very uh, cool for businesses who are very busy and who would like to measure their conversion rate at every stage so from here the user can go ahead and schedule a zoom call or just reply to this email let me know in the comment section if you would want to see 
more of uh, OpenAI's chat GPT videos or uh, whatever questions you have regarding this and if you are interested you can come on dudelemon.com and uh, you can fill out our contact form uh, to uh, query about any sort of uh, projects that you have we we are uh, experienced in many different platforms not only wix uh, such as uh, we are experienced in payment apis uh, cyber security solutions mobile applications mysql aws google cloud and uh, yeah you can fill out our contact form by clicking over here and yeah let me know if you have any questions